Now to the Israel-Hamas conflict and complete coverage of the latest events. CCTV's Noor Harazin is in Gaza as more strikes continue to rain down upon Palestinians and the humanitarian situation deteriorates even further. And Rowie Ruttenberg, of course, is in Tel Aviv where Israel's cabinet issues a warning to Palestinians in Gaza. We're going to start our coverage in Gaza. Noor, Israel strikes have struck several buildings just within the past few hours. Tell us what the scene is like there. Well, there has been uh, many Israeli uh, strikes on the Gaza Strip uh, on Sunday. One of the uh, strikes targeted a Judith family home, killing five Palestinians, a mother and her four children. Her, her fair, uh, fifth child is uh, now uh, in Shifa Hospital in a critical condition. Another uh, uh, strike targeted a car of a Hamas member, Mohammed al Ghul, killing him. Shortly after that attack, the Israeli warplanes targeted uh, his home, destroying it. And also, there has been many Israeli strikes on the Gaza Strip on uh, different areas and places, also shelling on the eastern borders of the Gaza Strip and from the Israeli warships, the Israeli uh, Navy, uh, Navy on uh, the uh, Gazan shore. The uh, Palestinian death toll in Gaza on Sunday is up to at least 16 Palestinians and more than uh, 52 were reported injured. If we're talking about the humanitarian situation, uh, since Israel targeted Gaza's only power plant, uh, some areas of the Gaza Strip had electricity for only two hours. Uh, some other areas had it for zero hours for like the past uh, two weeks. However, it's getting better now. The electricity cut is up to 16 hours, but this is considered good to the people of Gaza as they have uh, eight hours of electricity per day. Uh, however, over the past three uh, days and uh, since this uh, new escalation occurred after the last 24-hour 24, 24 uh, truce, uh, the hospitals in Gaza and the doctors and the medical officials have been uh, saying in statements that the situation in Shifa Hospital is going from bad to worse, not only if we're talking about the drugs and medicine, but also because thousands of families are now uh, staying in Shifa Hospital, taking it as a uh, shelter. Noor Harazin, as always, thank you. Live from Gaza.